Now, this is where we talk about taking inspiration from everywhere. This is something, this morning, I went to your Publix over there, and I'm walking through. I used to stock shelves at a grocery store, third shift. And I walked in there this morning before anybody's awake in Miami, I think, is what happened. No one's shopped yet. But this is what they do all night. And this is, I look at this stuff and how perfect that is. And then you think about your salon shelf and what your retail looks like, right? I tell all my staff, I want the products jumping off the shelf. Like they're almost ready to fall off, right? So somebody will catch them and then take them to the front counter and buy them, right? That, it should be the same way. They put their most popular brands in the center. They put more expensive stuff up top. It's just like liquor, right? More expensive stuff up top and then the new stuff or whatever is you know, not selling so well, it gets pushed towards the bottom because they want everything eye level. So this is an art that happens. I mean, they don't pay you well, that's why I don't do it anymore. But it is really cool, it's a cool thing. And I walked in there today and I was like, that is perfect. It's cool looking. The next thing, this is what John was talking about. This is the leaderboard for who drank the most beers ever <laughs> or something, I don't know. Somebody drank 2,000, somebody hit 2,200 yesterday, right? Yeah, while we were there. They ring a bell, they get all excited. And I don't, I, we don't have this place in Pennsylvania, so I don't know, I've never seen this. You guys may go there all the time, I don't know, but um, this is cool. And right away, I start thinking about the salon. Everything I see, I, I didn't come up with anything I'm talking about today. I, I see things everywhere. And I try to transfer it into my life. So I don't look at who drank the most beers. To me, this is who had the most services or who had the most visits for the year. And then I start a ranking that way. So then I get guests that want to beat somebody else. We have a chalkboard in the salon and that's what I'm gonna turn this into because I think it's cool. Um, so who had the most services for the year? Done. Uh, and we're gonna make that happen when we get home today. So, you know, just take inspiration from everything you see. These companies and salons are hard because we don't have money to market. We don't have a lot of extra cash laying around to go hire a marketing company. But these guys already hired a marketing company that came up with this idea and now I can just take it. It didn't cost me anything and transfer it into what we do, right? So utilize all these companies that you see doing things, doing fun things. Um, the reason, or my whole loyalty program stuff, I posted on the windows of the salon and everything, and I took that from, uh, do you guys have Pet Boys, yeah. the auto place? So one day I was walking out of Pet Boys and I saw this huge sign that was talking about rewards and loyalty, and I just, I took a picture of it and I went home and that's how I designed the entire look of what it was. Um, you know, I gave it our little kind of edge or whatever to fit our salon, but I took the wording right from it. Somebody already paid somebody to do that, you know? And now I just have to reword it and make it salon friendly, but then I don't have to spend a lot of time on it. So just take inspiration from everything that you see.